Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Arts. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I'm just going to, I'm going to be showing you guys two awesome add-ons um, for Blender 2.8 which is going to really help with your rigging and animation. So this is going to be a really quick tutorial. Um, Blender, already ha Blender has lots of free add-ons um, for animation and rigging but this tool stands out, uh, stands out to me um, because it, it really speeds up your workflow to achieve um, some basic tasks. Uh, so the first one is the wiggle bone. So it's used to create jiggle. So um, this is popular. I think it was already around for Blender 2.79. Um, so we'll be looking at that um, with some examples. And finally, this is a new one, custom shapes um, to bone. So this is really um, awesome too. So I'm going to be showing you guys how that works. So in the link, I'm going to leave... Um, um, in the description, I'm going to leave a link for you guys to download um, the add-on. They are all free, so you can um, start playing with it. So once you download it, you want to go to your preference and install it. So um, it's the it's there are going to be py files that's for Python files. So once you install it, um, you should be able to see Orient custom shapes. And also, you should also you should be able to see wiggle bone. So let's start up with the wiggle bone. So what I want to do is just let me turn on my screencast key. Okay. So what you want to do is just add a monk, the season or any character you have, and just do some basic reading, rigging. We'll add. Okay, so it's good. For the wiggle add-on, all you need to do is select the bone you want to apply it to and enable it. So the parameters are quite straightforward. Um, basically, what you want to play with most of the time is the stiffness. So stiffness is how um, it's like the mass of the bone. So lower body is going to give you lighter mass and more higher stiffness is going to give you um, higher stiffness is going to give you higher mass let's leave it as default and i'm going to bring up my timeline and let's just create a simple animation because it works um in um let's parent this first because it works in in playback so let's just move this and move this and now if we play the animation you can see we're getting um, free overlapping movement and if we go ahead and just rotate it slightly you can see we're getting like physics right with our animation and you can play with the stiffness as I said earlier and you let's set it to 0 0.02 Get more wiggle. Yeah, so that's that. That's the first example. Um, the next one is the custom shape. Um, so it's quite tricky to create custom shapes in Blender. Like it's you have to do some tweaking. You have to move things around, and it gets really tricky. Um, but this add-on makes it quite straightforward. So if we add a single, simple plane and just do a quick modeling, um, just basic modeling, you model out the shape that you want to apply to the bone. Okay, and we can duplicate this. 
it's gonna be like this, right? And now all you need to do is select this object, select the armature. So once you have installed it, they installed the custom shape, or the orient custom shape. Um, all you need to do is just select the bone, okay, and hit the W key. Select and then hit the special key and set an align bone. Al align bone, and so it might look like nothing has happened, but if we hide the plane, you can see the it now has the property of the object. So we can repeat that again. Select your object, select the bone, select the appropriate bone and hit the special key and set an align bone. Now you can hide this. Even you can even probably delete this and yeah. So you, this is what we get. So this add-on they really speed up workflow and I urge you to check it out. It's free. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I have lots of content coming your way. So bye bye for now. See you next time.